Hello, Jenny Hall here for Ink on 3. Today there are some brand new inks that are coming from Ink on 3. Three new Italier inks. Shark Tooth White, Trinity Teal, and Sweet Petunia Pink are so gorgeous. The stamp pads and the ink refills are going to be added to the Ink on 3 shop. Here is a look at Roses in Bloom stamp set, which I'm going to stamp with my Misty 2.0 onto some Arches watercolor paper with blackout ink from Ink on 3. I'll add crystal clear detailed embossing powder from the Ink on 3 shop, and that will heat set all of this image. It's going to be really easy to do some watercoloring because my image is already embossed. The embossed lines will act as a barrier between all of the other areas of the paper. Now we're just going to have a play with how these new inks react together. I really like this vibrant color of pink. It's so pretty. I started out coloring this rose by adding some clear, just plain water, and then picked up some of the ink refill of the Shark Tooth White. That's going to start me off with a white base so that when I drop in some of the pink color, it's going to blend together and not leave a white area of my paper, but instead it's going to mix together. Now you could stop right here on that right hand image of the rose as I think the gradient is beautiful on it. But because we're having a play with the new inks, we're going to really go further. I'm doing exactly the same process on the left hand larger rose. First covered it with water, then added some of that white ink, and then I'm bringing in the Sweet Petunia Pink only into the base of the petals. And as you can see how it reacts, it's just so pretty. Now this is a great place to stop, leave a lot of those white highlights, but because we're going to do everything we can today to play with these inks, I'm going to bring some of that teal color onto the pink and watch it turn purple. Now this is a brand new shade. This is not intentional to be a certain purple. It's intended to make whatever color blends on the paper. There's a beautiful color called My Jam Purple that's in the Ink on 3 shop that has ink refill and ink pad. But this color of purple that comes is going to be unique to every project that you make. So the pink and the teal will definitely lend you a beautiful color combination. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the left hand rows as I did on the right, but I'm adding even more teal. The teal is going to not only just really mix together to make that purple, it's going to give me some shaded areas as well. Now you can see as that teal sits there and it mixes, it just turns purple like magic. This is so much fun to watch happen. Now I'm going to kind of spread some of that ink around into the different parts of the image and try to keep the tips of the petal a bit lighter than the bottom, you know, the bottom most part of the petal. But basically I'm just having a lot of fun taking in a little bit of the teal, bringing it away, and then adding a little more of that sweet petunia pink. It just is so much fun. Now I'm going to add just a little bit more to the base of some of those petals just to give some separation, and then we'll move on to coloring the rest of the flower image. I think this is a great stamp set. It's called Roses in Bloom, and not only does it have these really gorgeous roses, but there are some amazing sentiments in this stamp set. I chose Thoughts and Prayers Are With You because I will intend this to be a sympathy card. And sympathy cards are some that I never enjoy creating when they're needed. Instead, I like to have them on hand 
and especially my husband, he asks me for sympathy cards for people at work. And that can just hand him a couple of cards and he can keep them on hand in his desk. Now, once everything is colored, I took some of the shark tooth white and I just kind of made some paint splatters and it just works so well. I tried this before with some white acrylic ink, but now I can use an ink that's meant for stamping and card making and the atelier is the answer. I'm adding a very thin layer of craft foam on the back of this watercolor strip because I found that the craft foam is the easiest way to get watercolor paper to seamlessly lay down to my card base. And it gives just a tiny bit of lift. After everything's adhered together to my A2 sized black card base, then I'm adding some embellishments from Trinity Stamps. There's a little B and there's some clear rhinestones. Here is another version that I colored off camera and made the roses a bit more pink and added some splatter to the background. I've added the teal and the pink splatter all around it just to give a little more atmosphere. I'd love to hear in the comments which version you like better. Thank you so much for joining us on the Ink on 3 channel and we hope to hear you again soon. Please be sure to subscribe and like this video.